Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So welcome back to another Mindful Monday. I can't believe this is the third one already. How fast do these weeks roll by? So today's video is going to carry on a little bit from last week's video. If you didn't see that I'll pop the link in the description below so you can go and check it out. And this video is going to be about types of negativity that you need to expel and get rid of in your life. type of negativity that you need to get rid of in your life is the idea of perfectionism. Your life is never going to be perfect and we all just have to face up to that. Our lives are never going to be 100% perfect. We're never going to have the perfect house, we're never going to have the perfect relationship and we're definitely never going to have the perfect kids. Perfectionism itself is literally unattainable. Nobody's lives are perfect. Everyone has something in their life that isn't right or that is going wrong or that they want to improve on. So we just need to accept that. If you are constantly wanting a perfect life, you're constantly going to have the feeling of less than. You're always going to feel not good enough and that is just negativity that you do not need. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with striving for having a good life having a good career and having more of things. But as long as you have in your mind that it's never going to be perfect, nothing is ever going to be 100% complete, then you're okay. And I think the idea that you want everything perfect kind of leads into the next couple of types. So the next one is judging yourself and judging others. So when you're judging people and when you're judging yourself, you are literally only thinking of the negative qualities in that person or in yourself. You're not seeing all the good qualities in that person. You're literally nitpicking at all the bad things and that's just gonna make you feel rotten. Especially if you're doing it about yourself. Maybe not so much if you're doing it about other people that you don't know. You might be the kind of person that doesn't feel guilty about judging people. But if you're doing it about yourself, you're constantly gonna be like, oh, my hair isn't good enough. My makeup isn't good enough. I'm not a good enough parent. And that's just gonna make you feel awful inside. And why would you wanna do that to yourself? You are a fabulous person who is capable of anything you put your mind to. So why are you constantly putting yourself down? And that leads me perfectly into the third one, which is self-doubt. Self-doubt will literally take over your life if you let it. It's like a weed. It's gonna root itself in your mind and just grow and grow and grow. And the only way you're gonna get rid of that is if you start believing in yourself and like I said you are capable of anything you put your mind to so stop doubting yourself and start believing in yourself stop judging your bad qualities and start praising your good qualities again like I said all these points seem to lead into each other and the next one is assuming the worst will always happen this is going to come from self-doubt and it's also going to come from judging yourself. If you don't think you're good enough to do something and you're doubting yourself, then you're going to assume that the worst is going to happen. You've just got to have a little bit of hope. If you always assume things are going to go wrong, then they're going to go wrong. You're never going to seek out those opportunities for something to go right. The fifth point is worry. Worrying, again, comes from that self-doubt and that constantly thinking that things are going to go wrong. Worrying is going to do nothing but decrease your mental well-being. You are just going to be a wreck all the time if you're constantly worrying about anything. And I used to be the worst for this, and I still can be, and I'm trying really hard to change that, because I was constantly like, what if this happens? What if that happens? And you know what, it never got me anywhere. All it got me was an hour later and I still hadn't done what I wanted to do. So you need to put the worry to one side and start believing in yourself and the situation you're in. And the last point is trying to control everything. This obviously comes hand in hand with wanting everything to be perfect and wanting that perfect lifestyle. Once you realise that you can't control everything, then all the other things are just going to melt away. You'll stop worrying about things, you'll stop assuming the worst is going to happen and you'll stop judging yourself because at the end of the day, you can't control everything. As much as you'd like to and as much as we'd all like to do it, you can't. You can't have a complete grip on every situation you're going to be in. 
Life is literally one day to the next. As horrible as it is to say, you could walk out the door tomorrow and be hit by a car. You can't control that situation. You can't control that driver and what they're gonna be doing. So what's the point in trying to have control over everything else? Obviously, to a certain degree, we do have to have some control, especially when it comes to our children. But if we realize that you can't completely control it, then you're gonna have a much less stressful life. Those are all the points that I wanted to make. Those are all the types of negativity that I think you should kill in your life and just get rid of. I don't want to come across preachy in these videos and I don't want to come across like I'm telling you what to do. I said in the last video, I think it was, that by doing these videos, it is more than anything for myself. I'm trying to change my life. I'm trying to become a more positive person and worry less and be less anxious. So I'm making these videos to remind myself because then I can watch them back and I can be like, right, these are all the things I want to do. So why aren't I doing it if I'm having a bad day? So I don't ever want you to think that I'm making this video to judge you or to preach at you and say, this is how you should live your life. I just thought it might be helpful for someone else if they're feeling how I feel to hear this and maybe it's going to change your life too. So I hope you'll join me next week for the fourth instalment of Mindful Monday. I've not quite decided what I'm going to do the subject on yet. If you've got any suggestions please pop them in the comments below if there's anything you would like help with. I'd love to hear from you so that I can try and make a video to help you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!